Assalamu alaikum and greetings. Ali Shamna here. Very happy to be back at my old RC flying field by the scary drink, the Riverside. Today in this video, we are going to unbox and quick review the MJX Bugs 2W. Yes, you have watched my review of MJX Bugs 2 from Dubai where I flew it in a kind of sandstorm. Yes, that morning was a sandstorm and it was just starting when I flew it. But today there's no sandstorm. We are here at our old field. Perfect weather for flying and enjoying RC. This is MGX Bugs 2 W model, which has a Wi-Fi FPV, like Wi-Fi video transmission to your Android phone app. So all the other features like GPS features and all the other features that I've shown you in my previous MGX Bugs 2 video are probably the same, except that it has a 5G Wi-Fi 1080p FPV or live video coming to your phone using uh, uh, an app on Android or iOS devices and smartphones. So before we unbox, I have got this Bugs 2 brushless drone with GPS in red color. Man, I love red color. So thank you very much, Banggood. This is in red color, Bugs 2, really, really beautiful, Bugs 2 W. Then we have a GPS one kilometer range, brushless motor, independent ESCs, this is nice. If you, you know, burn one ESC, you'll be able to buy and change the ESCs. Two-way, 2.4 GSC radio transmission, one key return, 0.5 kilometer Wi-Fi distance, 0.5 kilometer Wi-Fi FPV distance, because they are probably using 5G Wi-Fi uh, at 1080p FHD, so that's why they are claiming that it has 0.5 kilometer range. 500 meters, not bad, very, very good. Now, one key return, yes, that works. And even when your batteries are going low, auto return to home does work we tested it in Dubai but not on this one let's test this one out so let me stop talking and let's quickly take it out you know the features now let's take it out batteries are fully charged and we'll give it a flight right away so this is the box 2 out of the box okay inside we have another foam case we have box 2 user manual stickers and everything okay and ta -da, beautiful New Bugs 2 W, red color, and the battery. So let me just uh, first put the battery here, okay? Put it out here, that's the uh, quadcopter. Then we have the wall outlet to charge the battery. We have the phone holder, screwdriver, and a spanner for you to hold the motors and, uh, you know, hold these things on top and take the propellers off. And of course, at the back side, we have radio control and spare propellers. All right, okay. I hope I brought the batteries. Okay, so first time when you turn on the radio and quadcopter, it will not bind to each other. Don't panic. Press and hold this button and then turn the radio on. It will give you two beeps and enter in connection status or binding status. And after that, you can power on your quadcopter and it will automatically bind. All right, so always remember to turn the radio on first. Turn the quadcopter on, put it down on the floor. Wait for it to initialize and then you have to do the compass calibration. Every time before flying, you have to do the compass calibration. And I don't mind doing that actually, it's a good thing. So now the LEDs are blinking this way. Okay. I will start rotating the quadcopter horizontally until the LEDs turn green and start blinking. I'll put the head up and start rotating until you get solid green and solid red lights. Right there, solid red and solid green. I believe your compass calibration is done. Now you can fly it. But before that, let me connect to the app. We will see a Wi-Fi first. Bugs, okay. It's connecting, connected. And we will go to the Bugs app. Where is, where is it? Where are you, Bugs? Bugs, go. All right, click go. And there you have the video from the quadcopter. Beautiful sunset. I wish I could fly 
it's a DJI Spark to get this sunset, but anyway. So I'm gonna simply does not actually rotate this screen. So I have no choice because I have a buttons there. So I have to put it this way, no choice. All right, there we go. Propellers are started. Take off. And it's drifting because I don't have the GPS position on yet. All right, so we will go and turn on the GPS position hold and bring it closer to here. Check it out. GPS position is on. Altitude hold not that good. Maybe it's the barometer messing up a little bit. It tries to go up, but hey, now it's holding properly. Let me get a couple of pictures quickly. All right, time to fly it around and shoot some videos. So, uh, this one, and it's shooting the video and recording in the TF card. So remember, if you have a TF card, it will record the video in TF card. If you don't have a TF card, it will send the video to your phone. All right, my videos are still on, on my phone. You can see, I'm still flying. Beautiful sun setting right there. Still flying. My live videos are still alive. Now that is some nice distance. I had a glitch. I'm having glitches. My video stopped. But this is one nice distance, man. Okay. Because you don't have the Wi Fi actually. So basically, Wi Fi range is just that more than enough, I will say. Really more than enough. I went really far. Now I'm waiting for it to reconnect and my video is back. Beautiful man, that is nice. That is one nice distance I would say. With Wi-Fi before I have never been able to go that far. And this is myself, man what a clear picture on my phone right here, you can see it is amazingly clear. Let me get a picture, hold on. This is the time to get some cool picture, some cool shot with my, some cool shot with my helicopter and this stuff. So here we come. And focus, ah oh man, awesome. One. Two. Smile, three, four, I mean how many pictures I want to take, <laughs> awesome, now that was good, I have to be at sight, awesome. All right, let's start recording video again, okay, and fly more. Let's shoot that sunset right there. So I'm going to climb up a bit. I'm going to look at the live video here. Man, that is beautiful. Sweet. Ah, next time, I'm going to take that sunset with my DJI Spark, which is sitting right here inside the box. Yes, it's still there. Now, this is nice, man. Okay. So we have got the sunset, all right? I'm gonna fly and take some panorama now. Okay, that is my old spot. That is my gym, old. That is the gym, our old flying spot. And behind that is our house. Okay, let's turn around more and you can see tall buildings are emerging all the way. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's bring it down. Flies very well. I have no doubt. I have flown it before. Battery flight times are amazing, nice. It flies fast and good. And it is very, very controllable. Very beginner friendly as well. I'm flying in GPS mode only. 
and it already feels like flying an FPV racing quadcopter. All right, very close to the tree. Somebody left a bike there. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna switch to uh, attitude mode. And in attitude mode, it's actually much more locked and faster as well, as you can see. As I mentioned, it's already a FPV racing quadcopter for you. <laughs> Don't go to the river. <laughs> the water is scary. All right, switching to a GPS mode once again. Okay, so I'm gonna stop recording the video. Now, let's test the auto return to home. So we took off from, took off from here, and I'm gonna go farther. Right above the, uh, right above the riverside. <laughs> All right, man, what a beautiful shot. Let's take a picture, awesome. Good. And now we're gonna uh, activate RTH. So here's the RTH. Press once. And quadcopter is rising. I can see in my phone. Clear video. And quadcopter is coming back. So you can easily see now. I'm just holding the radio. And it flew diagonally backward. So it didn't turn its head down here. It flew diagonally backward and flew all the way home. And it should activate landing, auto landing sequence right now. There you go. Auto landing activated. Man, this shot is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and we are home. Thank you very much, MJRC. Now, the only feature that was missing in MJX Bugs 2 was this Wi Fi FPV. Now, with the Wi Fi FPV, you can frame your shots simply perfectly. All right, so now let's fly once again, shall we? We still have battery. So I'm going to take some shots while flying it around. Auto take off. Oh, hold on. We should test the headless mode. Okay. So head is away from me. Headless mode on. Left is left. Right is right. Okay. Head is towards me. Left is left. Right is right. And everything is... Man, I'm confused. I mean... <laughs> Yes, so this is the headless mode. All right, as the quadcopter rotates, I will still be able to fly it and control it. You can see it. Okay, enough playing with the headless mode. Let's fly it around. I'll switch to attitude mode. That's where it's more locked, as I said. And what a superb flying quadcopter. And now with the addition of this Wi-Fi FPV live video, it has just taken one step ahead. It is highly recommended product now, MJXRC Bugs 2W. For those who are looking for a cheap GPS quadcopter with a nice FHD 1080p, 5G Wi-Fi live video camera which records video on TF card shoots pictures and also without TF card you'll be able to record everything on your phone directly so I'm gonna get one more shot hold on switch to GPS um, I'm gonna shoot video and fly slowly on those trees over those trees.
Now, if you ask me what is missing is the stabilized gimbal. Now we are getting low voltage warning. So what I will do is I will keep flying until I run out of battery and then we will see if the quadcopter properly comes back or not. <laughs> Man, this river is scary. <laughs> It is a scary river while you fly this way on right there and while your batteries are running out. So you can see I have got my confidence back. All right. Let's bring it closer to us. I don't want us to actually lose uh, <laughs> the quadcopter. I don't mind losing the quadcopter, but losing the footage will be really bad. Still flying. Man, that's lots of flying time. I will keep flying until it comes back to home by itself. Okay, it took all my control away and it is arising itself. I have no control left. RX battery one bit on the radio and the quadcopter is back home. Amazing, sweet. All the features are working simply perfectly. Nice MGX RC, that's not bad. I will give it two thumbs up. The live video is very, very clear. It's sharp, crystal clear picture right here. And for the very first time, I have ever seen this much range on Wi-Fi except DJI products. All right, people, right here is the conclusion right after watching this long video. I believe I don't have to do any kind of conclusion. But again, if you want to hear it, I will give this product two thumbs up once again especially after the addition of this 5G Wi-Fi based live video. Man, that is one sharp crystal clear picture on your phone. And for the very first time in between toy and, uh, you know, hobby grade quadcopters, this is the very first time for me to see that you have live video connection or Wi-Fi that far. We went pretty far today and they claim 500 meters, but it wasn't 500 meters. However, for the very first time, according to my own experience, after testing so many of these toys from China, that one live Wi-Fi video was alive that far. And when I lost the video, simply when it was coming back, it auto reconnected just like that without having to, without, without having to actually restart the phone, without having to actually restart Wi-Fi and reconnecting anything automatically it reconnects. It flies superb. It's an absolute fun to fly quadcopter. GPS hold, altitude hold is very very good. Auto return to home feature is very reliable especially after especially when your battery is going lower it will automatically calculate and return your quadcopter back to home, fly it back to home and land for you so you do not actually crash because of the low battery, which is a very, very nice feature. So yes, auto return to home features are very reliable. It's basically an absolute fun and a very reliable GPS quadcopter. And I would say it is affordable as well. Now for the pictures and video quality, I do not doubt it. I have already tested it. I hope this time they have even better camera. So picture and video quality is also superb. And you can instantly download the pictures to your phone using the Wi-Fi connection and start sharing it immediately, your pictures and videos. Not to mention that live Wi-Fi connection or live video gives you an opportunity to frame your shots precisely and take precise good shots only. All right then. Now. What is missing once again? Now the only thing you're missing is the stabilized gimbal. So MGXRC, I hope you will introduce a small stabilized two axis gimbal for this camera very, very soon. And I'm sure you can actually cut down 
a whole lot of DJI Spark sales after that. Enjoy! And this is a two thumbs up product in my hand. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and stay updated for all the new uploads. If you like the video, hit the like button and share it with friends.